Hello, this is Mridula from Mridula's Cafeteria. Today, I have come up with a new project called Baby Buggy. Let's have a look to the project more closely. Here I have used a beautiful paper pack from Bob and Betty named Tiny Tots and Baby Bliss. I have mixed both of them but used Tiny Tots a lot. I love the way it turned out and uh, the paper pack is so beautiful, it looks so charming, so sweet, so serene and uh, just let me know how do you like it. If you want to view the complete mini album for this project, please click the link below in the description box. And this is inspired by Janice from ScrappyCutsOnline.com. I have used Dress My Craft paper pad, Me Collection My Princess, which is 210 GSM, and here is the quick flip through. I am using Dress My Craft circle nesting dies and Circle Delight dies from Spellbinders and if you do not have dies, do not worry, you can simply use your compass and draw the circles and cut into halves. Uh, for designer circles as well, you do not need any dies as you can create your own design with the help of hole punches or any punch you have in your stash. These are the semi-circles you need to create the buggy. I have already prepared the wheels using the blinks in the center. You can also use brads. Now layering the semi-circles, I love to use three layers so that it is thick enough to hold my gifts or mini albums. I am just placing it uh, so that it is centered properly. You can simply fold the semicircle into half and make a little crease and then mark it the center point and then hole punch it. Now I am using a liquid pearls to decorate my semicircle. You can choose to use anything that you have in your stash to decorate your semicircle for the buggy. I will also use a blinks um, in the semicircle like so and attach the wheels. Now I am taking a five and a half by five inches cardstock. I used two cardstock together and glued them and scoring at every half inch horizontally and vertically I am scoring half inch to both the ends. Now trimming it in a triangle shape so that it can be attached nicely to the base of the semicircle and I'm creasing it properly to the scored marks and making it a little bit of shaky. Now I will work on the canopy. This is 9 inches by 5.5 inches cardstock. Again I have glued two cardstock together and scoring at 2.5 on both the ends. Taking my trimmer, I am making a cut on every half inches leaving the four inches in the middle and I am snipping you can also snip it with the help of scissors if you do not have a paper trimmer or a craft knife
a good crease on the scored marks so that it gives you a feel of a canopy I am scoring it properly and folding it properly now um, taking a pencil I am marking a center point of every flap and giving a hole using my one hole punch now I am working on my cradle handle taking 300 GSM I just drawn on the paper and fussy cut it I love to use three layers of papers or cut stocks so that it is thick enough to hold my bamboo stick and I'm using one hole punch to make a hole in the center now taking another semicircles here I am using my ATG gun to glue the base of the buggy as we do not require a strong glue uh, sorry I went out of camera here but what exactly I am doing is attaching my semicircle to the buggy base which uh, we trimmed in triangle shape on both the ends keeping the pattern side inside of the buggy and gluing on the white side of the cardstock like so so it will give you uh, a look like this now taking your cradle handle Place it on the white side of the cardstock and I'm applying a nice amount of glue on the semicircle here on the white part and layering it with the designers semicircle like this. Pressing it hard so that it is glued properly and this will be the final look. What I have done here is I have passed the bamboo stick through the cradle handle and added beads on the either sides and used my liquid pearls uh, over the beads so that the bamboo stick is not visible on both the sides. Now working on the canopy, I am taking a pencil and marking it a round shape on each and every flap and we'll snip it with the help of a scissors now taking a um, canopy what I'm doing is overlapping the layers I will take five layers from the back and overlap it now using my brad put the brad face inside the buggy and layer the uh, flaps together and secure it with the help of brad as you can see I am doing in the video I am securing it with the help of a brad now I will take another uh, layers of the flaps and secure it with the brad but the brad will this time face upwards like this and then what I'm going to do I am going to glue them together taking my liquid glue here I am just applying the glue on one set of the flaps and just placing the other flap on top of it so that it is glued properly I will hold it for a while so that it is secured now I will do the same thing putting the brad face inside from the hole and securing the flaps together from the back overlapping it want to use or uh, decorate uh, with the trim now this is the time where you can place your trim glue it together and then secure it in the brad of the front set of flaps now what I did I later on decided to add a trim here and I then again uh, added the trim by gluing it and removing the brad from the front set and then attaching the trim and then glued together now I am using the bows that will give 
uh, your project um, new dimension and it will make it look more beautiful as this is for the baby girl so I have used a baby pink and a cream color in order to see more alteration and variations with measurements, please visit my blog as it is linked below. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Please leave a comment below if you need any help related to measurements or techniques. I will surely respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.